The best thing about being human is that we always tend to have hope and having hope makes us try. The worst thing about being human is that we always tend to also have expectations and having expectations makes us give up. When we try to be nice to our partner after an argument, when we try to patch things up, we have such good intentions. We even think of all the good characteristics of our partner and we feel less angry and less upset. So we're able to reach out and even apologize or give them a hug and a kiss. But if our partner doesn't respond to us immediately, if they reject our hug or is still upset at us, we get even more upset. We go, huh? See? See? I'm already trying. Don't say I never try, huh? And we get even more upset than before. And all our good intentions go out the window. And we give up. And now the situation gets worse because there's also the blame that we've put on the person for not trying back. This is why we often feel so frustrated for things not working out, even when we're trying so hard. We really cannot see that it is our expectations that are sabotaging our trying. This is where we truly underestimate the power of positive influence. When we don't give up, despite people not responding to us in the way we hope for them to, that's when they actually start responding. When you see someone every day, whether they're a colleague or a family member who's negative and rude, they can ignore you when you say good morning to them. But if you say good morning to them every day for a period of over a hundred days, they are bound to one day lift their head up, open their mouth and say it back to you. The thing is, most of us can't stick with it for a hundred days. We give up so easily when we see no results. We'll think, ha, huh, see, no point trying. They're just evil and we brush our hands off and feel satisfied that it's them and not us that's the problem. But the real problem is our expectations. We have to know and remember why we do something. If the person doesn't admit their mistake, does it mean that we don't apologize for our mistakes? If the person doesn't reciprocate, does it mean that we will not give? It is very important to know the answers to these questions before we even begin trying. Because if not, we'll give up much too easily. We'll get so emotional that we'll forget what our objective is in the first place. It is only when we try without expectations that we'll get the results we want to be happy always.